what's up people it's your boy the kryptonian saying bringing you a review for one piece chapter 439 and i'm just gonna go ahead and get this out the way now okay you know i got I, I gotta share this okay you know i wasn't expecting this shit i wasn't a fan of i wasn't a fan of tashigi before but you know i'm a sucker for glasses man you know that motherfucker older did a good job with this one man holy shit tashigi looks hot dude I was not, like, Tsushiki looks hot as fuck in this, man. Like, I, I've ragged on Otis designs, and again, like, it's, I fuck with that one, man. Like I said, it might just be my personal bias towards glasses or whatnot, but Tsushiki look good in this, and, uh, VV look good in it. Though I know a lot of people feel like VV's annoying as fuck. So now that all that wanking is out of the way, let's get right into this chapter review. And I love how... Once again, Oda just comes through with the surprises and has Luffy trolling, okay? And what I thought was cool was the fact that Luffy, he's come up with these crazy-ass names for the ship. And after a certain point, like, the names just get more and more and more ridiculous. And I'm like, okay, Luffy is just trolling at this point. Like, I, I've come to understand that there are moments where Luffy is genuinely a big dummy, okay? Genuinely, he's a dummy, but then there's also moments where Luffy is just doing this shit to have fun, and that's what's happening here, because you got the one scene where Usopp's like, I can't believe you think that's the ship's name, and then at the same time, I'm like, are the rest of Straw Hats just throwing out random names as well, because, you know, the only one I could see maybe being sincere was Sanji's, but like Zoro's name, what the fuck was that, Nico Robbins, the same thing, and Frankie, I, I, I can see Frankie's being sincere as well because he helped build it. But I thought what Iceberg said behind the name uh, of the ship was very, very appropriate because this is a new day, essentially. The Straw Hats are going into a new dawn, this new light being broke, new ground, new sea to cover. It just makes sense with the name he came up with. I thought that that was very appropriate. And again, if you go all the way back to the first chapter of the series, Romance Dawn, the dawn of a new era, now it's a new ship. It's very poetic what Oda did that. I thought that was very, very appropriate, man. So I thought that was cool. Now, I also thought that giant ass cannonball that Garp threw, like the fact that Sanji and them knew what the fuck it was and they said, we're going to die. And you even had Kobe shouting it out. I'm thinking, oh shit, if Kobe's saying this, it's got to be something serious, right? Because he was just getting his panties in a twist right before that scene. Luffy's so cool. Like, you, you, you thought, like, okay, this is, this is going to be something serious. And that looks like that might have been a one-shot kill. But then you got Frankie telling him to do something with the sails. And the ship basically flies through the air with another coup de boom. And what was really cool is, yeah, it used up three cans of cola. But what he said was... What you got to understand is if your last ship could do this, I built this. This was superior wood. If anything breaks, I'll fix it. But anything your last ship did, this ship can do even better. So it's just like, dude, like this ship could probably go to Skypea a couple of times and not really be, you know, all banged up or whatnot. So I thought that that was pretty cool. And to see them kind of flying off like that, it was so fucking impressive. Even Aokiji woke the fuck up with his sleepy ass. And he's got like the little sleeping blinder, one eye open, and it's just looking. And it's like in that moment, Aokiji had a heart on. Like that's just what I thought. Aokiji is like, holy fucking shit, that's awesome. So I th I love that. I love that a lot. I also love the fact that after they get away, you see Water Seven just being rebuilt, and you see Iceberg taking on Frankie's people, and they're even saying like, hey, new big bro. But for me. I feel like Iceberg taking that on is him ultimately making a play to fully unite the city because in Frankie's own little way by uniting all of like the underworld and everything, Frankie was trying to protect Water City. And in this case, Iceberg has the position and the authority as well as the vision and guidance and people skills to actually make these people productive members of society in their own unique ways. And it's his way of continuing on with what Frankie originally envisioned, which is to protect Water City, to protect, not Water City, Water 7, which is basically what Tom gave his life for. So I like just that little moment in there. 
you know, it says a lot about Iceberg's leadership's capabilities that he recognizes the opportunity and he just fully brings them into the fold. So I love seeing that. And then just to see the fallout, I like how we see Smoker like, hey, that guy with the 50 million Barry Bounty, he's nothing. He's fodder. I can't believe that the Navy gave him this. They must be lowering their standards. And you got Tashigi coming all in, all sweating, don't got the glasses on, put the glasses on. Like, all I needed was, like, they got to do this shit in the anime. They got to have, like, the wind blowing and shit. And it's like a little beads of sweat just kind of... That ain't Toei style, but, I mean, shit, they got to take a page what they did with Dragon Ball. Like, the early part of that shit where they used Bone for some fan service. They got to make the Shigi look good in that motherfucker. Like, they got to get that one going. But anyway, I like the gag moment where she's, like, talking to one of the dudes. And she's like, oh, shit, you're not smoking. She puts her glasses on. And Smoker is just like, I'll put my pride on the line. After what they did at Ian's Lobby, the Straw Hats are going to be seen as uh, heroes to the pirates. We got to catch their ass. And so, in a subtle way, Oda just brought Smoker all the way back on and reminded us that Smoker is still after Luffy. Like, that's the whole reason he went on the Grand Line in the first place, because he made it out of Loop Town. So, I thought that was cool, and I can't wait to see what Shanks and to see what Ace's reaction to what Luffy did. I can't wait to see that. That's going to be... That's going to be fucking crazy. Shanks probably going to throw another fucking party, man. Like, that's going to be fucking awesome. Of course, he's fighting Whitebeard right now, so... We might not see anything. But overall, this is a pretty good chapter. Uh, my chapter question to you guys, I'm going to keep this one fairly simple, okay? What are your thoughts on what Smoker said about the Straw Hats maybe being that force that gets all the other pirates united, potentially go against the world government because he says he could see them being heroes? Could Luffy and his crew at this point in the story be a catalyst for change when it comes to the next generation of pirates. But as always, guys, if you like anything I had to say, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, share. Thank you so much for watching to the end of the video. Have an awesome day, guys.